Hola la gente de Vive la Noche. My name is Renee Menzies and we're going to go watch a video about my paintings. Hope you enjoy it. Come along. Yes, I do a very unique uh, sculpted oil on canvas type art and what I do is I take the oil and I blend it and form it and shape it and then lay it onto the canvas in a 3D form. Well, I've always been one that I really always loved sculptures. I like things that made you want to touch them. So I was originally started painting with acrylics and adding sand and different things into my art, metal objects, anything I could find and I would paint over that. Um, I had two small children, so the drawing uh, time with acrylics is a lot faster, so I was able to paint paintings and keep them out of it for a certain length of time. But um, as time went on, I just uh, really loved oil paintings, and I met a gentleman called um, by the name of J.D. Miller, who took me under his wing and taught me a little bit more about oil painting and how to paint with, I always painted with a palette knife, but he showed me how to uh, form the paint in such a way to where um, you could actually sculpt flowers and things on the canvas rather than painting it on um, in a 3D form. Now this is where I paint, okay, and this is my little desk where I mix my palettes. And these are my palette knives, they go anywhere from this size to this size all the way up to these, depending on how big the painting is, okay. So you can imagine the paint I use. Now here is all my paint, so, and my little stash of canvases and other stuff. So, what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna show you a little bit about how I make my flowers really quick. So, I usually have, um, I don't have a lot out right now, but I can show you all my different palettes around here, and I have about every color set out when I start painting. So, what we'll do here is I just grab some paint, it right there. I'm just going to mix a few colors so you can see how I get the beautiful blends of colors. Two. And let's get one more over here. This is all left over from my last painting session, so as you can imagine. So, and I keep this to keep it from drying out. Now, this is usually what I start with. I've started this new technique with a black background rather than the white background. So what I do is I'll take all these colors in one big brush and I start blending them like this. And then you can make all these beautiful swirls like that. And what I end up doing is picking it up and taking these and laying them onto the canvas. Now, it's really easy to make mud. So one, one or two little swipes too much and this is what you get right here. This is my pile of mud. <laughs> you know, this is where this is my mud pad, and I used to have this really big canvas where I would just put on my mud because I hate throwing things away. And I decided one day I'm going to paint over it and make it look like something pretty, and just not to waste all that paint. So, you know, painting is 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 such a release, and it's an expression, and it's just freedom, especially when you don't paint from a picture. There's really no end result, so there's so much freedom in them, and I'm such a happier person when I paint. If I go a week without painting, I just get really irritable, and I get back in the studio, and I just start laughing at myself, you know, that I should do this more often because it's just a, a part of my soul, and when you don't do the things that you love in life, you just, you know, you start to get very irritated, and so anytime that you feel that way, you should always think, okay, well, what do I love to do? A simple thing. Just go do it, whether it's playing baseball with your son out in the yard and playing catch for a few minutes but just those few minutes a day of doing those those things that you love and for me that's just it's part of my soul this is how one of those will turn out and as I said each of these little pieces is individually blended and shaped and picked up and put onto the canvas so this is an 11 by 14 so you can imagine how big the palette knife has to be to pick up one, one of those flowers to make it on a huge canvas. What I do when I sign my paintings is I carve my name into the paint and I put the 09. And what I do, a lot of people ask me why I always sign it, put that little dot on the O. Well, in, an, in a painting, the object of the artist is also to keep the, the viewer in the painting. 
to experience every aspect of it. So what I'll do is if there's a dead area, like up here there's no yellow. So signatures always bothered me on art. I always thought they just kind of a big black signature messed up a piece of art. So I tried to incorporate my signature into the piece of art and actually make the painting better by the signature. Si, yo, yo hablo bien, antes hablo mucho mejor, pero si. Y estoy enseñando a mis hijos también de hablar en español. Pero si, sí, empiezo que me está riendo de mi acento, que, que no, no voy a gustarlo.